morning, everyone. It's Beth from Beth Neal King Design. Hope you're all doing good this morning. Today, I am gonna do something a little different. Um, I am gonna do a product review of a piece of equipment that I got for Christmas this year. So, I am going to be taking a look at this cup tisserie, uh, cup turner and show you sort of the ins and outs of it and what I learned after using it for a little bit. Um, complete transparency here. I'm a new learner for these uh, cup turning things. I haven't used them before at all. So um, it was a whole new experience for me. So you're gonna get it from a very beginner's uh, perspective. So hang on here and uh, we'll get started. I'll show you what we have. All right, so let me just show you what came in the package that I received. Um, this is the base of the piece of the product. Uh, it contains the motor. It's already connected there for you. Um, it also has a nice handle that you can use to transport it with and hang on to. Um, this was the base of it. Um, I'll show you the operation in a minute, but let me just show you the different pieces that came with it. So here's the base. Then there's these two rods that we're going to use uh, when we put the cups on. Another base holder. We had two foam inserts. They were, both of them looked like this when I got it. This, I'll tell you why I had to cut that uh, in a few minutes. But two foam inserts of the larger type and then two of these smaller foam inserts for different size containers. This is the plug, goes into a normal outlet. Whoops, there we go. To a normal outlet, this plugs into the back of the machine. This is the on-off switch, and there is a, a small indicator light in here that you can see when the power is, is on to the machine. You turn it on, you just flip that switch, and this rotisserie arm here will start turning. This silver knob on the side, I think it's called a rheostat. Um, ask my engineering friends, but basically you can turn it all the way up for very fast speed or turn it down as low as you want for a very slow speed, depending on what kind of project you're working on and how fast you want the whole thing to be turning. All right, these two pieces of foam I got with, and they go on the end of these rods. And that is what's gonna hold your glass or your container onto the turner. So you put this on the end, and then you put that into the motor that's gonna turn, and when you turn it on, and if you can see that, I'll make it go faster. So that is now turning. So you can put your cup or your tumbler or whatever it is you're working on on there um, to do your design on that or to put your resin coat on. Okay, this foam piece was too large for the pieces that I was doing because I do these wine glasses and these have a little bit different opening than some of the tumblers do. So what I did was I took my other foam piece and I just cut it down. I cut it down to fit into my glass and I can do it on either end. So I can put it in there, then it goes on here. and it will turn. The other one was too big and I didn't want to break the glass because if you push it too hard, you can break the glass if this is very firm. All right, these other foam things, honestly, at first, I had no idea what these are supposed to be used for. They do fit on these, these rods. And I guess as reading and looking at the pictures a little bit closer, I don't know if you can see that, that real small bottle on the end there that has the very, um, 
very narrow mouth. I believe that's what this is for. So that would go on there just the same. And then the other bottle or water bottle, whatever, will go on the end of this. My only concern about that is that those water bottles extend out quite far, probably this far. And I don't know how heavy they are, but when I was using wine glasses, um, a couple of them did get a little tippy with this arm. So I would just caution on that. Um, may have to wait, wait it down on this end to keep it from tipping. The other thing that I got that I wasn't sure what this was for um, is this. And I'm like, hmm, not sure how this goes, where this goes, what I do with it. So I did look through the pictures again, and this is apparently a stand so that you can put your pieces on it to dry um, or after they're finished uh, so that you, you don't have to touch them anymore and you can move them to a safe spot to dry. So that is a stand. Did not know that when I first got this but that will come in handy when you're doing multiple glasses. Okay, a couple things I really did like a lot about this particular model is um, it does have backwards and forwards. So if you toggle this on off switch either way, it will rotate counterclockwise or clockwise. Um, that can be important when you're trying to get certain kinds of, of um, designs on the pieces that you're working on. So that's really a nice handy feature there. The other thing that is very nice that I like, not all of the turners come with this, is this real stat where you can turn it up faster. I'm going to put one of these on so you can kind of see. So that's a pretty fast turn right there. If you're doing something where you just want it to be very slow and take its time for the colors or whatever it is you're doing for that just to settle on there, then you can turn it way down. So having the real stat I think is a really important feature and I, I enjoy having that. One thing that is a little bit of a disadvantage um, is that you can only do one cup at a time. And for the types of the type of work that I do on these glasses, I have to put a resin finish on those. And the resin takes up to anywhere from 10 to 20 hours to actually get dry to the touch. So I have to put one glass at a time on this, um, on this device. And it takes me a long time to get through a set of like eight glasses. So there are other uh, products available online. I did look some up and the biggest one I saw was you could do six glasses at a time. That was around $70. And this one, um, a small one like this, I looked up and this was around $35. So there's a wide range. You can get anywhere from a single one, double one, quad, up to six. I haven't seen any more than six unless you probably get into some sort of commercial uh, type of product. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I use this and um, how some of these features come in handy for me. <clears throat> so I'm using the cut down version because I'm gonna uh, put some resin on the bottom of this, this cup. So you just insert the rod into the motor and once that's inserted and pushed in, it's difficult to pull out. So that's a good thing. This goes on the end. And I have found that with acrylic glasses, you do have to be a little bit careful because if this is too tight, they will crack. So I had to make a couple different adjustments to the thickness of this foam um, in order to make it fit the glass without breaking it. <clears throat> All right, I've got my resin mixed up here. We are gonna put some newspaper under here to catch the drops because I don't want it getting all over my machine. Some people, if they're doing a really large resin pour, they'll put another collection device under here to collect the resin and use it for another product project. So for me, I'm just gonna get this started and it 
doesn't really matter which way it goes. So on this one, I'm just going to do this bottom part that I need to clean up a little bit. And I'm going to turn down the speed just a little as I'm putting it on. I do mine with a brush. A lot of people actually pour theirs on. So I'm not as worried about you guys learning the technique of how to put resin on. I want you to see how this piece of equipment works for this type of project. And you, I want it to be a nice smooth surface. So I'm gonna leave it on this turner for probably a good 10 hours before I take it off where I know it's not gonna be running any further. Um, speed wise, I think it's fine. Um, if I want, I mean, I can go in the other direction. I think for this project, it doesn't really matter, but I can turn it in the other direction if I want to. So overall, I'm really happy with this uh, piece of equipment as a starter. Um, the more I get into it, the more I realize I'm probably gonna have to purchase another one or maybe one that has um, uh, two or four um, rods on it so that I can do more glasses at a time. But overall, I think it's great. I think the rheostat is really critical for me. So I think that's a really nice feature um, at the price point of about $35 to $40. Okay, well, that will do it for this product review. Remember, this is called the Cup Tisserie, and the website is www.aboutcuptisserie, oh, sorry, aboutcupturner.com if you want to look up some of these, and they are on Amazon as well. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please take a moment to like and subscribe to my page. And if I get another one, I'll do another review and uh, do a comparison between these two versions. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.